Clark County school kids are already back in class, most of them anyway. And as the school year begins, it's a good time to talk about vaccines for kids as well as adults. Dr. Jerem Spencer from Intermountain Health joins us with more on that. And Dr. Spencer, first of all, thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. Let's talk about the kids' vaccinations. A lot of them are back in school already, but what do parents need to be aware of? Are there any new ones on the horizon that they should be thinking about or that their kids should already have? Yeah, so in, think about, you know, when their childhood immunizations is started from birth through, you know, elementary age. And then always think about this time of year, flu vaccine. So that'll be coming up here in the next mm -hmm. month or two. We start coming out. So always recommend getting influenza vaccine every year. Uh, and then those maybe in going college age, we think about the meningitis vaccine. That's another one that sometimes is missed. But that age group is especially higher risk because they're living in dorms and in oh, close yeah. quarters with yeah. people. So Lots of germs being... That's one yeah. to think about. And then COVID vaccine as well. There's mm -hmm. been several boosters and several one maybe down the line as well. Some new ones as well. So another one to think about. Yeah, so as we get into the adult vaccines, uh, hepatitis B being one of them, right? Yeah, so hepatitis B, so you, some people think, well, I had that as a child, mm -hmm. which most people did as part of their routine immunizations. But we also recommend all adults over the age of 19 get it as well as a booster for that. Um, even if you don't feel like you have any risk factors for it, it's something we always recommend um, every adult get. So flu season, you mentioned it, is coming up. Do we know anything about any upcoming strains that we need to be aware of, whether they're more severe than years past or anything like that? So we don't know of the new strains yet. Sometimes with those things, it's actually maybe even a year or so behind because mm. we don't know which strains because they are adapting all the time. Yeah. When with COVID, when it was at its peak, you know, in 2020, 2021, there was a little bit less flu because more COVID. But yeah. now with COVID, there is always spikes with COVID, but not as much as it was a few years ago. The flu may be worse this year than it has been previously. We don't know yet. So at this point, just plan on getting the influenza vaccine. And they're always adjusting that every year with the new strains. And then finally, after a certain age as adults, a shingles shot is important. Yes. So um, definitely after the age of 50. We recommend everyone get it, or people younger than that, if they have certain risk factors. It is the same virus that causes chicken pox. So mm -hmm. in who has had chicken pox, they carry that virus in their body, and then that can actually cause shingles when we get older. Which I've heard is horribly painful for adults. It, it is a very painful rash. Yeah. Um, causes a lot of pain for sometimes for months. So we always recommend getting that vaccine. Good information. Dr. Spencer, thank you so much for being here. We really thank appreciate you. it. And we want to thank Intermountain Health for sponsoring this segment. If you'd like more information, visit intermountainmd.org. We'll be right back.